What's going on, Tech Feed? Welcome back to another episode of Techno Buffalo's Driven. I'm your host, John Rettinger. Today, we are taking a look at the 2013 Kia Optima, all dolled up in the top of the line SXL trim. This car has been winning a ton of awards. It's got a lot of technology under the hood, a lot of performance, and a lot of value for the car buying dollar. This car is more than just a prop for Blake Griffin to jump over. Let's go ahead and put it through its paces, see how it performs, see if it's worth the car buying buck. The drive on the Kia Optima is surprisingly refined. Uh, suspension is really tuned perfectly. It's not a sport suspension, so you don't feel everything. Uh, it's a little bit softer, a more luxury feel, something like you'd feel along the lines of a Lexus. The in-dash system here is completely touchscreen and voice controlled. This car screams premium from really every corner. I tried to look around to see where corners were cut to keep it under that $40,000 price point, but I really couldn't find it. Uh, you've got leather accents. Uh, up here on the dash. The plastic materials uh, feel very thick uh, and solid. Dual zone climate, uh, you've got Sirius uh, satellite radio built in, HD radio of course, CD. All the luxury features you'd expect are built in here, a backup camera. You do get uh, depth indicators in the backup camera, but you don't have any sort of um, turning with you. So as you move backwards, the lines are gonna say totally static. Not a big deal. Uh, the camera is not super high res, but it gets the job done for a backup camera. You've got dual, 12 volt outlets down here. Uh, I've got a USB connector, uh, auxiliary if you want to connect to an iPod uh, or an iPhone. It is the 30 pin uh, variety, so you're gonna need a lightning adapter if you've got an iPhone 5. So powering the Kia Optima is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. And oftentimes while driving this, I could have sworn it was a six cylinder. There is almost no turbo lag in this GDI engine. Really impressive. It's gonna output 274 horsepower and 269 foot-pounds of torque. It's gonna get you to 60 in a pretty respectable 6.6 .6 seconds. Carf just drives really nicely. The engine does an incredible job of giving you power when you need it uh, and sort of throttling off when you're just doing cruising. Uh, really hats off to the Kia engineers putting together a very impressive car. Uh, speaking of the driving, coincidentally, if say you're a journalist and you're out testing a car in a wide open parking lot, don't, and hypothetically speaking, uh, don't try doing some aggressive driving with nobody around because the police might not appreciate very much. So while the Kia Optima does have a ton of luxury features, there are a few emissions I would have liked to have seen. I would have liked to have seen proximity sensors and parking sensors, you know how close you are to objects. But things like three memory home link, dual memory seats, um, a rear view mirror that's gonna tell you what direction you're heading, uh, do make up for it. There's a lot of luxury in this car. Uh, at the 35-ish uh, price point though, you are competing against some other cars. Uh, you're a few thousand dollars away from some entry-level BMWs, Lexuses, and Mercedes. So you have to consider what's most important to you. So when we first got the 2013 Kia Optima, we tested everything, how it drove, how the seats felt, all the tech inside of it. But the one thing I kept wanting to know was, can I top Blake Griffin? In the 2011 NBA All-Star Slam Dunk Contest, Clippers forward Blake Griffin jumped over one of these. Now I fancy myself quite an athlete. They didn't call me white chocolate Rettinger in second grade for nothing. I think if Blake can do it, so can I. We shouldn't use that. That wouldn't hurt my arm and my ego. All right, so what's the verdict on the 2013 Kia Optima? Well, first thing, don't try and jump over unless you are an NBA All-Star, because you will just hurt yourself. Ugh. I think I sprained like 17 muscles. Uh, but athletics aside, this car is an incredible buy. It combines in a very rare style, performance, comfort, luxury, all in a really awesome package. Uh, so if you're looking for a car in the $35-ish thousand dollar price range and you really want no compromises, the Kia Optima SXL is really going to be a great choice. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Techno Buffalo's Driven. Our month of giveaways is coming to an end and our last prize that we want you to have is a brand new Roku 2 for you. 
I'm a poet, in case you guys didn't know. If you want to enter to win, all you gotta do is check out my buddy Richard Ryan's show, Survival Tech, leave a comment over on any one of his videos, and let him know which life-saving situation you want to see him try and get out of. The guy does crazy stuff, he filters his own pee and drinks it. Uh, this guy could survive in the wild with just a paperclip. MacGyver style. So go over, check out Richard Ryan's stuff, let him know what you think, and let you know what life-defying situation you want to see him get out of. See you guys next video.